Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I am your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. If you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for all the support. So today's topic is going to be the undrafted guys on the Miami Heat. I think that going forward, I no longer want any more undrafted guys on this Miami Heat roster. I will say, though, that the undrafted guys that we've had have spoiled the front office and have spoiled this team. Why? Because we realize, okay, listen, we can get guys that are hungry, guys who are underrated, guys who have a chip on their shoulder. That's cool. However, to sell your season year after year after year on it, I don't think that's a great idea only because of what's going on this season. Last year, and I've said it a thousand times, it was a huge anomaly and that will never happen again. They literally played phenomenal. They were shooting way, way out of their skill gap. Those guys were playing at a phenomenal level. And once again, I don't think they'll ever be able to do that again. Guys like Duncan Robinson, Gabe Vincent, Max Shrews, Yurtsevin. I think the only guy that has really been solid for the past two years is Caleb Martin. Why? Because he's athletic. He brings defense. I think that he brings a little bit more than the undrafted guys that we have. Because when you really sit and think about it, the undrafted players that we have, they were undrafted for a reason. You know, maybe they're good at shooting or defense or passing, but in terms of being an overall good basketball player, I don't see it at all. They're undersized in Gabe Vincent. They're very streaky three-point shooters in terms of Duncan Robinson and Max Strews. I can't even remember the last time Duncan Robinson had a very good game. You know, he completely fell off the map. Max Strews, you know, very streaky shooter. I think that they all struggle you know, like on the defensive end, I think that teams will look for them and hunt them when we're playing them in those closing minutes. And I just, I don't understand how you have a roster with Jimmy, Bam, and Tyler, guys who can get it done for the most part, and you're going to surround them with low-budget talent. And like I said, I kind of understand why they stuck with it so long because it worked in the years prior. There was a lot of undrafted guys that came in after the big three. And then, of course, Last season, they played at a phenomenal level. We were the first seed. We were the best three-point shooting team in the NBA. But to not put talent on this team, I just don't understand how we don't have talent. Guys who are athletes, guys that can jump out the gym, guys that are just strong, guys who can use their athleticism to win the game alone. Not just necessarily, because people have to understand, 30 teams, including the Miami Heat, looked over the same undrafted guys that are on this team. And like I said, they've had great moments on this team. But to say that these undrafted guys are going to play 30 and 35 minutes and 40 minutes in an NBA game is absurd. I think right now we have all these guys playing in roles that they were never, ever supposed to play in. There's no way that Max Schuess is going to be in our starting lineup. There's just no way. Has he had good moments? Yes. But when you're playing, especially these better NBA teams, guys that have teams that have talent, Guys, uh, teams that have length, teams that were carrying their teams in high school and college, there's no way on earth that you're going to expect Jimmy Butler to carry a team of undrafted guys versus the Boston Celtics, versus the, the Milwaukee Bucks, versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's hard. Can it be done sometimes? But to sell all your chips on this, to say, listen, Jimmy Butler, we're going to give you a team of undrafted guys, and we want you to do exactly what you did last year, it's impossible. And I think that's one of the... Things that are plaguing this team, we did not improve. The Miami Heat have been very stagnant. We've probably been one of the the good stagnant teams, which I don't even know how. We have been very, very stagnant. We have not made like huge improvements in terms of, like I said, the skill gap, the talent gap, the strength gap. The st- like we just got size now with Kevin Love and Cody Zeller, and th- and that took too long. You know, I just think that this team we really need to shake things up during the offseason. I think that this team has a lot of holes. We need perimeter defenders. We need size. We need guys that can take some of the load off of Bam at a bio. He has to do too much. He's setting screens. He's guarding one through five. He's in the pick and roll. He's doing everything. You know, and I think that because even with Tyler Hero, you know, like I think that Tyler Hero, he still has a long ways to go. I know he said that he's in the same conversation as Luca, Trey, and Ja. I don't think he's there yet at all. I don't think he's an all-star right now, or I don't, I don't even think he will be an all-star only because The guards in this NBA are playing at an elite level. And when Tyler Hero is not necessarily hitting the three, what else is he doing? You know, but just overall, I I don't want to see any more undrafted guys on this team. Maybe one or two guys that are like the end of your roster trying to maybe develop. But to have 10 undrafted guys, there was one point in the season where we had five undrafted guys on the court. 
I just think that that's a dishonorable service to Jimmy Butler and to this team and to the core of Jimmy and Tyler and Bam that we do have on this team. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys think that the Miami Heat have too many undrafted guys on this roster? Do you guys think that the Miami Heat should go away from the undrafted players? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 2,000 subscribers.